<laughs> oh yeah, well, hold on, let me, let me pull up the soundboard. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> That's how we started. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. What was it? The, the red zone is for loading and unloading only. Oh, the white the, the white zone is... White zone, whatever. Mm -hmm. White zone. Red zone, you don't want to go there. <laughs> anyway. The red zone, you're dead. Yes. Say what? <laughs> yeah. You're dead meat. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> that's definitely how we start the podcast. Uh, Hypecast num number 229. Yeah, so we're almost 230. Getting, getting a little closer to uh, 250, you know? That's, man. We're, we're, we're almost at our age. Just um, again. <laughs> what, four more, four more um, podcasts? Yeah. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, we are back indeed on the, on the regular and with yours truly as always, Sean, aka Hawk525, and I have Zala right here. As always, my cohort, co-host, mm -hmm. cohort, partner in crime, what do you want to call it? So yeah, uh, we actually, uh, were up a little earlier. Well, I was up earlier. a little earlier. You, you, you're, that's your, like your regular, right? Your regular schedule, but like, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, we were watching uh, Final Fantasy XVI, so we'll definitely talk about that later in the, in, in the episode. Uh, but we do have some fighting game related news to, to talk about, along with some, a little bit of frontline stuff, and then the uh, rest of it is like kind of kind of miscellaneous stuff for the most part, other than some games. There is a good chunk of um, anime, movies, and all that stuff. Uh, we did leave off some of the previous news stuff and we're going to move that over here for the game section so it'll it'll all be equal ish overall kind of except that i don't think this episode will be over three hours or anything like that yes he zala is chugging the pepsi <laughs> totally not our sponsor so yeah so <laughs> nor nor this <laughs> yeah nor the the potato sticks so anyway uh, while while the potato sticks and Pepsi are being consumed, let's talk about uh, fighting game news. Starting with uh, ca uh, Harada dropping some casual news, even though they're very important for fighting games uh, in this day and age, because we got this right. So um, Harada was just like, I don't know. He was like very active on Twitter at that time. I don't know why, but there he was. Um, someone was just asking about like crossplay for Tekken Eight when there's like actually a series of questions that he was asked or he was he was answering and somebody asked of course um can we get crossplay and then harada said crossplay of course i will by the way when the previous generation consoles were released i already had a proposed crossplay between the two platformers however at that time they were at odds with each other over their mutual interests and p2p or peer-to-peer -peer, uh, issue security issue and repeatedly refused. So basically, yeah, uh, Crossway is coming for Tekken 8, which means you can get it on any console and or any system rather, and play with your friends who are also playing on different systems, um, for the most part. So that is a uh, good, in that sense, uh, because that does allow well all that flexibility and stuff like that accessibility for sure so you don't have to worry about like oh i can only play on playstation 5 because i only have a playstation 5 and not pc but you can play with your pc friends and all that stuff and the other way around as well so that's good i would say um any comment on that one huge w mm -hmm, huge w for, for sure a, a lot of um console players mm -hmm, yeah because Gotta remember, kids, back <laughs> not too long ago, it was pretty much your only cross play was uh, <clears throat> PlayStation was PC, it? PlayStation to PlayStation, mm -hmm. Xbox to Xbox to PC, right? And then, well, for street, and then, uh, well, if we're talking about Tekken, I get, I believe, yes, but uh, when it yeah. comes to Street Fighter, it was Fighter. it was between P PlayStation and PC, but that's only PlayStation yep. being PC. There's no Xbox or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So, but here, all across the board, Xbox to PlayStation, Xbox to play PC, PC to PS PlayStation Four, all those combinations. So yeah, uh, hope. Yep. Yeah. So, um, I think for like in Harada sense, like 
he knows his audience that we we have a lot of gaming devices mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. some you know <laughs> we show love more than the other so he's just trying to make make that bridge that should have been made like 10 years ago <laughs> Yeah, and you know how PlayStation is. They're very, well, Sony more specifically. They're very uh, I know, Sony is prideful very, about uh, that. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when you look at Sony, it's like, do you not want money? We do, mm -hmm. but just with only our customers. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and you're just going like, yeah, like really. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another like uh, casual, oh, yeah, casual drop in the news. I I, I initially got this from Steve because um he replied to Harada's comment or whatever, but Harada was answering someone else's question. Uh, will there be, will there be rollback? And Harada, according to Harada, he said, already insulted. It already has what you want. The reason why we uh we don't make big announcements like crossplay. Is because even if we make big announcements, people like you only things like "wow, that's only that's normal in this day and age." Shut up and sit the hell down. <laughs> 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 and then Steve said, "Actual gold." <laughs> yeah. Harada, Harada, man, he's yeah, kind of kind of like the Japanese Ed Boon at times. Not all the time, but he has his moments. Harada has like that sense of humor that everyone, you know, laughs with. With, yes. The keyword with. <laughs> uh, unlike another, you know, big developer that loves to block people. <laughs> yeah, when you say the wrong thing. True. <laughs> when you say the wrong thing or you don't say it in Jap in Nihongo. Yes, yes, true. <laughs> true. Very, very odd practice, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. I but Harada. Very, uh, very, very, um, he, he, he's a man of culture. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Very approachable, much more accessible than, than those developers, those other developers. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, another one, one, so can... one more I thing. Say... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. With like how you're, uh, I was going to like also add on to like how you said Harada is very approachable. Yeah, he was when I went to evil the first time. Mm, right, 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 right. I was kind of like intimidated by you know his presence, and then he saw something in my hand. He just grabbed me, and pulled me closer, and he's like, and he took like the gift I was gonna give him, and he's like, and you know he, mm. he bowed to thank you, and we took a picture, and I was like, wow, <laughs> I just got grabbed by Harada. Nice, nice. Yes. <laughs> yep. And he took my chocolates. Man likes his sweets, apparently. <laughs> uh, one more bit of news relating to Tekken, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah. So this is basically like um, a TLDR of what's been happening. So we did. So uh, not only rollback and crossplay have been confirmed. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, the game will have more characters than Capcom's son quote unquote. Uh that's that's I think that's what Harada and his crew call Street Fighter Six. Because you know that's being of course being developed under Capcom. Uh and I wonder <laughs> Yeah. I wonder why um maybe the reason why he says Capcom son is because um um what's his name? He's not there anymore. Oh Ono son, yeah. Yeah Ono. Yeah. Because again when Ono was there, he, you could not separate Harada. Kind of like a, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, like a duo. A duo, yeah. I remember when uh, there was that big leak that happened with Street Fighter. Uh, there was a picture of Ono like pretending to cry, and then Harada's like, 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 like patting him on the back or whatever. When they're like, oh, uh, patting eating. Up there, it's like it's okay. It's okay when they're like eating or something, like over dinner or lunch. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, they they definitely had that like sort of, uh, sink sort of that. Friendship, you know, the the bro the broship, yeah. you could say, your bromance. <laughs> um, other stuff. I kind of like the, the picture of Harada holding the the gun and sword. Yeah, He's the like, gun and sword. Casually say, casually saying that. Yeah, there's gonna be customizable things for your uh, character. Yeah, <laughs> the old ass picture is so funny. This is yeah. This is during Tekken Six, man. That's crazy. I know, but it's also funny that. Third strike is right next to the mm -hmm. cabinet, so Tekken 6. 
Actually, this could have been er during early, uh, early Tekken 7 when it was still in arcades, but maybe he just sat next to the Tekken 6 machine just because he felt like it, but I don't know. Either way. Wait, wait a minute. Wait no, a minute. This, is, this, this is in his house. Mm -hmm. Why? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why is there... I just noticed this. Why is there um, a machine that has the Tekken instructions on the bottom, right? With Dragunov and Lily, but the screen has <laughs> Third Strike. Third Strike. <laughs> and then, but the top of the machine says Soul Calibur. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I'm telling you, this is his house. This is his house? Okay, okay. He has his own custom, in, in, custom machine. <laughs> we're in his um, game room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, def again, like... that's definitely what's happening. But um, let me see. I I love how um in this thread, it says there will be online beta. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Online beta and budget players are recommended to play on consoles. Okay, so like. Okay, so. What do you think that means? Deadline. Hmm. I think just, that just means like um, if you only have one system, it's better to yeah. play on consoles or something. So. Or and in my in my interpretation, it sounds like those who don't have like good, you know, good um rigs yet. Yeah. Because again, computer rigs are fucking expensive. Yep. Play on consoles first, and then you know slowly build your PC. Yeah. Yep. That is that to say, kids. Um, my my rig's not done yet. It needs two more components, and it'll be future proof. Ah, they're, right. They're just you know, well, they're just the SSD drive to for storage shit. Mm -hmm. But I've been so lazy. I'm finding the next the next two. I think I'm just gonna wait for like a big sale. A bit, the yeah, the, the, this coming uh, Cyber Monday or Black Friday or yeah, whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So. so again, mm. Again, this rig, its biggest one that I was waiting for was the freaking graphics card. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3070, thank you, Jesus. Yep. Am I going to get the 40 series? No. Why? They just came out with the 4070, which is pretty funny. I know, that's why it's, again, why? <laughs> yeah. Why, 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 why would I? Yep. What I would want is that... um. That computer monitor that was shown in PAX, I think, where you bend it. Really? What the hell? Oh, you didn't see that video? It scared the living daylight out of me because you can hear it like cracking. And the guy in the video is like, oh, no, that's normal. That's a normal sound. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll it's take like, a look no. at that. Yeah, we'll take a look at that later. But uh, but I just wanted to say that he's been just casually dropping this type of stuff because uh, because because again he made a point like um oh if we just we if we announce this in a separate thing people are going to complain oh that's supposed to be normal blah blah, blah. like oh uh, you know like so yeah i know that's why it's like some people again like <laughs> why don't you have um cross play or robot that code it's like it's not a push of a button it's not a flip of the switch you are yeah. demantling and remantling this freaking game. Yep. It's With like working on one a... little function. Yeah. It's like working on a car, man. Like when, especially with the major parts, you gotta fix everything else around it too to make sure it runs, uh, well. So, but yeah, this is when I say that he just been, been casually dropping his stuff uh, on Twitter and stuff like that. So some of, some of them, yes, big for fighting game players, like, you know, the crossplay and stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, found it. There you go. Okay, just drop it in. Yeah, drop, yeah, chat cast. Um, we'll take a look at that hopefully later. In fact, I'll probably just save it in the tab so that way I don't forget. Um, but I won't play it. Oh, I gotta do this. Okay. Um, cop. Oops. Oh, just open the link. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why it won't let me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's just uh, let's see. So yeah, he's been just dropping all that news on Twitter, so. <laughs> so, yeah. If you want more taking updates, just follow Harada, man. Along with humorous gold. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. And uh, just for the caution to um, our viewers and listeners, don't ask anything from Harada, please. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he's, yeah, he had a t-shirt, man. <laughs> don't, don't ask me for shit, man. You know? 
Yep. Best fucking thing yep. ever. Yep. Or sit down and shut the hell up. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, speaking of Street Fighter, uh, there is some news uh, regarding Street Fighter. So, actually, this is kind of big. But uh, we, we were just told not too long ago about uh, another presentation for Street Fighter 6. Uh, this will be hosted by... It's your boy Weezy and I'll be hosting the Street Fighter 6 showcase with an exclusive look at the new game. Little Wayne, by the way. Stay tuned. It's about to be crazy. Why can't it be both Little Wayne and Little John so we can hear What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yep. Uh so this will be premiering. Or it could be um or it should be Dave Chappelle. <laughs> that would be so weird. Yeah, honestly, it would be really weird. I don't see D- Dave Chappelle to be uh, a Street Fighter like, player. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? And then all of a sudden, oh, yes, yes. I, I have been a player of Street Fighter since <laughs> you met like, Jesus With that white, the white guy voice <laughs> yeah. that he does. Oh, man. It's so funny when he does it. Anyway, so we do have a showcase that's premiering April 20th. So 420. 420 blaze it. <laughs> Uh, at three o'clock Pacific time. Now you see, because they made it as four twenty. Now I wish they had um Snoop Dogg. You know, it's funny. Snoop Dogg stage uh was a thing, and I think it was Taken Tag Into- Two. Yeah. Or or six. I I could be mixing those. One two. of them. One of them. Yes. But still. Yes. Funny how that how that kind of connects in a way because Tekken. We just talked about Tekken. Anyway, so it's gonna be. Over 30 minutes of big news and announcements. Uh, I guess premiering on YouTube? I guess YouTube will be one of them. So maybe on Twitch as well, but YouTube for sure. So 420. Okay, mark on, I want to... Mark on your calendars. I want to predict... Predict... Um, they're going to have... They're going to show off modes. Yeah, of they're course. They're going to show off a little bit of how the ranking system works online. Uh, character customization and all that stuff. And I want to say three. I'm being generous. Three character trailers. Or uh, four. Be- f- wait, but who's missing at this point, though? Um, the the new. Um, they will be going by you know the the leak, um, picture of all the um fighters. Yeah, the it's all of the them girl have... that's supposed to represent China. The oh, one that but but supposed to take over Fong's um, place, I guess. Oh, so you're talking about DLC at this point? Because we've already we already know what the launch fighters are, though. Mm-hmm. So I mean, she could be, she could be also base base game. We already know the base game, though. Yeah, but you know they can always add her as a base game, like just going like, "Ah, JK." But we already know the base. I'm telling you that that that's the final roster, though. But we already saw the final roster. Aki, Aki. I I mean, Aki. Um, at this point, yeah, it's. I think it's Aki. Um, it's DLC. Any anything else is DLC at this point, unless I mean. Uh, because they, they already revealed the big artwork thing, and then they, then of course, Aki and Rashid and all that stuff, like they're not there. So, I think that's all. I think that was all the base roster that we saw. So, uh, at that Rashid point, Rashid is uh, it's going to be a DLC commentator. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so lame, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, um. <laughs> For DL, I guess for DLC, I guess. Okay, maybe I now that I think about it, but that'd be kind of weird because we've been expecting for like real people, right, to be guest commentators and whatever, right? So, fine. DLC commentator, yipes. Or Little Wayne. People have been saying it's like, oh, is Little Wayne going to be uh, blah blah blah? I I feel like no, I feel like Little Wayne is going to do the main theme. The main theme for Street Fighter Six, I think that's what it is, and then I he'll have, that. yeah, uh, and then he'll have like a concert or something for Capcom or something like that at some point. I don't know. Or 
<laughs> Go and throw it out there. Or for character lore. Little Wayne is a character in the Street Fighter universe. Uh, he's the father of Kimberly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm stretching. They're already... I'm reaching. Yeah, and uh, speaking of Kimberly, um, they've already revealed a new costume for uh, for her. It's like somewhere like it's like a very very yeah right here. Like brief. Very brief, right here. I like it. I like it. I like the poofy pants. I'm 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 a sucker for big big poofy pants with that with the the urban touch, you know. I, I you know, honestly, I actually like this outfit more than her original outfit. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's so funny because um when you think of this type of um attire. Mm-hmm. To me, this screams like late '80s, early '90s. Like, yeah, yeah. TL, TLC or um, Salt and Peppa, which pretty much maybe that's the inspiration of this outfit is Salt and Peppa. Mm. You know who this reminds me of from One Piece? Uh, it's like one of the newer characters from One Piece, uh, Yamato. the The color scheme is very similar because you know white. You got the big red pants. Uh, even even the the blue um gradient part of the hair uh, is kind of similar with uh. So Yam Yamato does have some splash of purple. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere I think I think it, I think that's the gradient in her hair. I think I could be wrong, but some yeah she has, she does have a little bit of purple too. And actually, that's funny. So yeah, this color the color scheme is definitely reminding me of Yamato, for one piece. DLC mm-hmm. Yamato <laughs> Luffy <laughs> no, Yamato or Luffy not, not, not Luffy Yamato yeah that'd be so weird uh, I was trying to look no, up I'll be the... like <laughs> if that happened I'll be like um yay and what <laughs> Say, what seriously <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so wait, so this is one, two, three, four, eighteen. Yeah, okay, yeah. So th- this is this is all the launch roster characters, and uh, we've had. I believe we've already had a trailer for JP, so I don't think we're missing anyone at this point. So I don't think we're gonna get any other character revealed. Maybe the boss for the game. I- I'm like a like a boss character for the game. That's maybe not JP. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I. I- no idea. I know who it is. It'll be my name is Seth. Oh, it's Seth? Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> You're back again? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So at this point, any any more character reveal, they're going to be DLC. So that's what, that's what I've been saying. Like that, that Aki has to be DLC if she is going to be revealed. So yeah. Because this is, this is the launch roster. Like this is finalized. Like there's no... You know, ifs, ands, or buts, or anything like that, because they uh, confirmed it themselves. So, and if, I mean, they'd be lying if uh, uh, <laughs> if they add one more one more character at least for, for the base roster. Maybe they maybe they change the decision, but uh, this is the fun, the 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 um, launch roster for the game. So, like Rashid, Ed, um, you know, Aki, any of those characters. DLC. Okuma, DLC. So. Um, but if they're going to talk about DLC already, though, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea because people are going to see it like, oh, you just, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you're already, you're already, you already have characters ready, but you're deciding to, um, lock them behind, you know, like a season pass or paywall or whatever. So, uh, I don't, no, that's a good idea to do it right off the bat. Even though we do, yes, have the <clears throat> fighting game players have the assumption that you know you're you're going to be paying for DLC at this point, you know. But when it comes to the casual audience, what this game is aiming for, um, more than ever, right? Like, I don't think you want to do that, you know, because fighting game players are a smaller small percentage in comparison to every, everyone else. So you definitely want to, you know, please the masses for the most part for better or for for worse. 
Uh, but when it comes to like, oh god, <laughs> I still have the monitor thing on the tabs. So that's why we're briefly seeing the uh, the bending. But anyway, um, what else could be talked about? You know, um, Little Wayne could be part of the music, right? Like I said. Um, Yeah, like we're talking about the campaign mode, right? Story mode or whatever you want to call it. Arcade mode, right? A separate arcade mode. And then, you know, that way you can get all the uh, endings and stuff like that. I'm assuming, right? As per, tra tra per tradition, hopefully. Um, what else could be could be revealed? Um, maybe they'll, they'll briefly talk about the tournament again where, you know, like, oh, you know, we have a million dollars for capcom cup or whatever right just to you know make sure people know right um what else could be said um um online stuff probably and then because we they already talked about the drive mechanics so i don't think they'll talk about any more of that stuff i think they'll they'll just go in depth into um the big world tour mode and then the online mode and then little wayne uh music or whatever theme song you know whatever you want to you know whatever and maybe got get maybe guest commentator right for little wayne right <laughs> i mean guess it's only, i guess that's only fair um yeah what if, what if Little Wayne was actually playable? That'd be so fucking weird. A, a playable guest character in Street Fighter Six. Hmm. Yep. So, anything else you wanted to uh, say for Street Fighter Six? Put it in my hands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, sure. So me and this this man. King 1v1 are Zongiefs. Oh god, yeah, mirror match. Oh man. <laughs> uh Oh, uh they they might they might announce one more one more dem uh beta. There you go. I think that's another thing. One more beta and then the beta. The, the, the yeah. The beta. There you go. That's what's <laughs> Um one more of that and then yeah, and then they'll hopefully tinker out uh tinker all the uh, and tune up all the you know patch, uh, little fixes that, that it needs, but quote unquote. So that is pretty much it on Street Fighter Six for major stuff. Um, okay, well let's just, let's just get this uh, monitor thing out of the way. So let's just take it. Because <laughs> you keep flipping it. I know. Yeah, it's it's teasing. It's teasing. It's teasing. It's teasing so. <laughs> Gotta hear the beautiful cracking. Oh my god. Go ahead and flatten it too. You'll hear clicks again. Oh, it's not. It's not. Oh, oh no. You, you get flatten it and then you'll hear clicks again on each side. Keep going. There you go. That's wild. I didn't hear any. Oh my god. Go ahead and flatten it too. You put it all the way up. Yes. You can hear like the cracking and then the big pop at the end. Oh, okay. I, I, to, like, I have to like turn it up real, real, real loud. Hold on. Oh, no. you, you get flying it, flying it too. You... Go ahead and flying it too. You hear clicks again. Oh, it's not. It's not. Oh no. You, you get flying it and then you hear clicks again on each side. Keep going. There you go. Wasn't as loud as I expected to be though. Yeah, but well, well, it's also because they're at PAX. But still, like just seeing that. Yeah, yeah, just, just seeing like, it. Yeah. It's like, please don't. <laughs> Monitors should not do that. The screen wasn't bendable. The intrusive thoughts won. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> huh? I mean, to me, it's like wow. When you first see it, it's like, what the hell are you doing? Who need? Who, we're so used. Who needs so a bendable to, like, thing? Know, a yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I guess for like, like um. Oh, if you want to, you know, you have you have too much clutter, so you kind of want to 
Maybe, but I guess it, I, I think it's mainly for people who want to go between a curved monitor and a regular monitor, you know? But again, with those type of curvable monitors that you can do it on the fly, it only takes like that one accidental like nudge yeah. and it just think like, oh. I think for the most part, you don't want to do this to your monitor. <laughs> like at most. Like I'm, I'm considering doing it now, is um, get a bigger monitor, but just put it on the wall. You know, like hang it. Oh, on. hang it on, mount it on the wall. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's gonna get some use to, unless you know I find that that sweet spot where mm -hmm. it's not too high and I'm not too low on my chair. Yeah. But yeah. Uh Neat, I guess. Curvable, <laughs> curvable monitor. Mm -hmm. Way of the future. I guess so. Which, which now I think about it, I haven't seen like a lot of people say like they own a curved monitor because those those exist. But you know, it's like once in a blue moon you will see someone set, um, you know, set up has a curved monitor. Yeah. I don't know. Like, is... I remember back then, like the curve, of, the curve TB was like kind of all the rage, and then it just yeah, like, yeah, it kind of just like went away. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't know, man. The things and that people will do. Have, um, I forget what it is, but they showed it. I forget what at this sort of like tech convention mm -hmm. is where like you have like a piece. Okay, I had to make sure there was nothing on this yeah. screen. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's a that's a Wargreymon dick. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> they, they, they had a piece of like, I guess, the monitor. And then like behind them was like a bigger like monitor of the screen. And they just placed it in and then it just filled that hole. Oh, like like a, a they, you can assemble the screen. Yeah, rather assemble than, yeah, the screen. Assemble, yeah. So, So I might. So maybe that might be a, a thing nowadays since, you know, some homes are getting bigger. And so you might have like that actual wall that you can just build, <laughs> build, build your screen or just make sure no kids are near it. And mm -hmm. they just go, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, um, if you want to take it on the go or something for whatever reason, <laughs> I know you, you'd be that one asshole who's like, wow, look at this screen. What? Where's the middle one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the middle piece, you know. The middle piece. So you just see that big black like piece missing in your like at a part and scene of the I know. Movie. It's like it's like, oh I'm holding this. It's like, what is it? No. <laughs> no. What does it look like? It's a it's like a an important picture or like a important stone or something. Like, no, what is it? <laughs> um it could be something like Mandal the Mandalorian and be like I have this. <laughs> no. <I know. laughs> what is it? This is the way. <laughs> no, what are you holding? I don't know what the way is. <laughs> All right. So anyway. And then, you know, like someone someone who has that piece is like actually like looking like, oh, so that's the piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. That'd be just so funny if it's in that exact spot. <laughs> spot. Yep. <laughs> so. Ultimate troll at, at movie night. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, bendable monitors. I mean, I've, we've, I've seen, um, screens that are like paper. They're like, it's like that clear paper and they're, they're like doing this and they like, it like, you can like wave it and bend it and it still works. Um, but it's like a very, it's like a prototype. It's like a very, very alpha prototype thing. So that of course is not mainstream and yet, but you know, paper, better, um, yeah. the ultimate test on that, um, screen. Will it blend? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> uh well, yep, I just showed my age, everybody. Yes. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> uh what is it? Um Screen smoke, don't breathe this. <laughs> oh man. I remember one of them was uh I forget what the exact thing was he was he was blending, but it was like, oh, purple haze, don't breathe this. <laughs> Oh man, what what happened, man? That that, that thing like died uh, at some point. It just vanished. It just vanished. Yeah. 
I guess it's just a, it's just um, more channels were coming out with their own thing or something like more channels were coming out like with like machines and all that stuff um, over time, especially with uh, what was it? Um, the hydraulic press. There's a there's a yeah. there's a YouTube channel with the hydraulic press. I I, I actually been watching that you know, some from time to time. Those that that YouTube channel is such a good ASMR. Like oh yeah, especially the the ones. They're like they they go slow, so the, the so you hear the <laughs> yeah <laughs> all the cracks until you hit the big pop like oh, you yeah. know you're not paying attention and then you hit the big pop you're like yeah like what was that like a bowling ball <laughs> or something you know or uh, whenever they freeze like they like fr super freeze stuff and then you hear like the the um the crackling and stuff yeah <laughs> yeah but then of course when it presses down so you hear all you hear everything else like damn man it's crazy. Uh, oh yeah, uh, there's like ones where he like presses or they like they uh press down like on books and they, they like fucking explode. And I'm like, damn, man, that's what happens when you compress on books like that. Jesus, so stuff like that, I think. Um, and I, I think also the fact that some of the yeah. so some of the stuff that happened on uh Willard Blend is like very um tampered with, like you know, how like uh. Like I like the iPad, I think, um, wasn't completely blended or whatever. They had to like actually break it um, off off camera to even yeah, get it in camera. there, and then like it, it doesn't even like break the iPad completely, you know, even with that. So I think stuff like that, people were starting to realize, and then maybe maybe the novelty wore off or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's a bit of our tangent. <laughs> um, as we go into we did our, we did our, wait wait oh we don't have like a check mark <laughs> like a check oh yeah the, 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 tan the uh... yeah the tangent of the day yeah exactly but yeah we did a quota <laughs> yeah yeah we met our one of our quotas anyway but uh all right it's time to go into uh the frontline side of things so let me play this <laughs> that's it <laughs> i thought it was like a newscast I played it to you, man. Remember? <laughs> anyway, I, I want an excuse to play that. Anyway, so um, let's go into okay. this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is relating to AI, uh, AI art. So uh, for those who recognize uh, Stability Diffusion, I think it's called the full name for it, or Stability AI. Um, mm -hmm. There's been reports that the it's been burning through cash. So, you know, you got to pay up all the programmers and engineers that work on the AI program. So, you know, where, of course, where's that money coming from? I don't know. So, so they're like burning through their cash and, um, it not like, how do you, how do you profit from that? Right. Other than ads, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, or make the program um, not free and you have to pay for it, you know, subscribe to it. <laughs> Um, at that point, if you're gonna do that, I think people are gonna j hop off the train because I don't know. Um, uh, maybe the novelty is starting to wear off too. Maybe I don't know. I hope so. But, um, what what do you make of this? Just reading, just 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 reading off of this. Like, any any comment? Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if all this money that's like, you know, just going out the windows because of every like known artist, no to man is actually jumping on their asses. Possibly that too. Um, there's also been like reports of um, like websites like, you know, DeviantArt because DeviantArt allows e uh, AI art. Yeah. Um, DeviantArt and other companies and websites have been uh, in lawsuits because AI art is stealing from other artists. So that's, that's, you know, that's a lawsuit waiting for, to happen. Right. So I think that also comes into play. Like, you know, they don't want to fuck with that shit anymore. Maybe. So, I, I mean, I still see even art AI stuff still surprisingly, but I think it's starting to go more on the, uh, the lower end now. Maybe I could be wrong, but with that being said, um, 
Well, let's see. Well, let's see what this gentleman has to say on Twitter. Uh, Ramel Allen. <laughs> anyway, um, just need another nudge. These AI companies depend on extracting data for free and exploiting cheap data work. Uh, else they could not even uh, break even, given their compute costs, without feeling the climate in, uh, impacts. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like a lot of things, it takes money. Right and it lo and behold, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. Never mind. I'm just reading some comments. Um, I don't know. Um, e uh, even if this uh, this particular part is coming to an end, I think AI, the whole like AI art thing, is like Pandora's box coming out, the kind of thing. So you can't really close it back in. Um, there'll be other programs to do the same thing and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. But I've been thinking about it. Right. And have you, like, have you, have you ever seen how it all works? Like AI generating it? Yeah. How, how have you seen like somebody using AI art generating stuff? No, but I did dabble into it. Oh, have you? To just to just like see what the whole hype it. Yeah, it's like wow, like not like shock wow. I was like wow. <laughs> but then there was like uh, like a time that I was just watching like videos of um. The title would be like AI art um creates Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. like, so it was like every like verse there will be an ai art to try and reflect on it mm -hmm. some hit its mark and some was like so this is way off mm -hmm. but but basically but basically you just type in words and yeah an image generates right and... so yeah so basically yeah it, um, ai art is basically like a like a uh, a glorified image search google engine search. yeah it's a yeah. google google search yeah exactly exactly so what i'm wondering is like, I don't know why, you know, um, AI artists or AI or people who use AI are going to call themselves artists when anyone else could do it. You know what I mean? Like, what makes you special, right? Like, anyone else can just type in words and generate images, especially anime stuff. So, what's going to make you stand out from the rest? You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where it's, a, it's just so easy that anyone can do it. So what's the point of you trying to chase the clout? You know what I mean? Uh, why, why, like why people go through that trouble? You know what I mean? And and especially when people are trying to make money off of it, when when you know you're at that point, you're playing with fucking gasoline and fire, man. You're gonna you're gonna have a fucking garbage fire in your hands because you are pretty much stealing assets from artists. You know what I mean? But, That's why I'm yeah. so glad, like, um, uh, majority of conventions, like, ban it. Right, ban mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, good. Like, good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and again, like, for those who try to call themselves as artists, like, I I'm, I'm sorry, man, you're, you're not an artist to me. Like, that's not what art is. I mean, um... To me, those people like lack the patience, like they lack the discipline, they lack just the willing, the will to sit through the the hurdles and the the obstacles, right? All the like, yeah. you know, like that, you know, what what it takes to craft that skill. And and again, those people who just outright call themselves artists is like, okay, you know what I mean, like. It, it it makes me really wonder like what goes to to, the, to their minds to even be able to do even being able to do that without much second thought, you know. I, I guess they just really lack that patience, man. They they really want to go through those shortcuts just to be able to sneak through and call themselves artists. Um, you know, again, I wonder about that because it's like again. What makes you special? You know? Because anyone else can do it. 
I can type words. I can do it, right? You know, you can type words. You can do it. Any anyone who can use Google can you can use AI art generating stuff. Like stable diffusion, all that stuff, right? What what makes you think that you're you're in a good market for that? Uh or you're in a good um space for that, you know what I mean? Like to get popular. You know what I mean? So the, you're uh, essentially you are wasting your time. Like that time you you use to generate AI art, you could have used that to practice your actual art. You know what I mean? At the end at the end of the day. <laughs> And then at the end, you get more. Some you, you get way more payoff. You get way more love from people who actually see your stuff, right? And then you know what I mean. But again, they just don't want to like sit through all the, the hoops and the processes and the hurdles and all the obstacles, right? That come with learning this stuff, right? You know, they just don't feel rewarded. I guess like when they, when they try to do all the hard work stuff, you know. They just want instant gratification, it seems like. Um, did you have any comment about this whole AI art thing? Like, to, Do you have anything to say to the AI artists, quote-unquote? Do you want to get off your chest? Go well, to your nearest um, community college. <laughs> take Art 101. <laughs> have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Or here. Go to your nearest Walgreens, go to the kids section, buy a coloring book. <laughs> Call, color within the freaking lines. Right. Yeah. Um, again, um, AI assisting a technology is not what we're going after or judging. It's, it's, it's when people solely rely on AI to do the, to do the, the work for them. That's... My, at least, yeah, that's definitely that. That's definitely the problem, you know. And you, you're trying to pass off and take credit as you're the, you are the one doing the work, you know, right? Um, but luckily, that stuff cannot be copyrighted because um, there is a law. Uh, I think think it might be thanks to the monkey selfie, or it just uh, happens to be a part of it, but. Uh, non-humans cannot have, or non, yeah, work by non-humans cannot be copyrighted, nor they're not, they don't have, uh, copyright protection. So, um, do you, do, do you, are you familiar with the, the monkey selfie story? No. No. So. Just, just, um, make a bit like a, I, well, you know, too long, too long to read. Um, just make a short, mm -hmm. if you can. Have you seen this fi pi uh, picture? Oh, uh, yes. Let me, uh, yes, I have. Let me see. It's cute. Look how cute that monkey. Here, I'll, let me make sure we're looking at the same picture. Yes. My Lima. So, we are looking at the same picture, yes? Yes. Yes. So, this this and this picture uh were both taken by the same monkey right and the story on this basically is that the monkey took somebody's camera a photographer right uh and took a selfie very very um uh what do you call it? interesting that of itself because the monkey is actually smiling you know like very um in tune with humans right but anyway uh that's another story but um the basic gist of it is that the monkey took the picture, right? So therefore, you know, who's the artist? The monkey, because, um, you know, people would think it's the, you know, the owner, the 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 owner of the picture, the camera, is the rightful owner of the picture. But no, um, the artist is the sole proprietor or owner of um, any work, you know, that they work on. And technically, yes, the monkey is the artist of this image right here because who took the picture the monkey right so um unfortunately for the photographer the photographer could not get this uh, image copyrighted because it's not his photo to do so but unfortunately for the monkey the monkey cannot uh get copyright protection for the main image itself or uh as well because guess what Mo the monkey ain't human 
So there is a law to uh, to actually prevent that. And guess what, right? With AI art, cannot be copyright protected because guess what? That's not a human working on a picture, right? So TLDR, non-humans cannot uh, work on art because, you know, it's up for grabs, right? So, yeah. yep, anyone can, uh, I guess, grab it and um, try to make money, money off of it, I guess. But with AI art, you don't want to do that because... Remember, re remember where that came from, right? So, um, but when it comes to this picture right here, I guess it's an, an, anyone up for anyone's grabs because it's a, it's done by a non-human, right? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the law that protects that side of things. Better for or for worse, right? So, um, but yeah, the 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 monkey selfie is pretty funny to look at cute and pretty funny <laughs> but uh, apparently the the photographer um somehow like lost their job or something like i don't know like i don't know what what the what the story on that is in particular i didn't i didn't read, it, read into it too much but um apparently the photographer quit because of this incident um for the most part but yeah, I, I I I don't understand it, but anyway, um, that's a separate thing. So uh, luckily, there there is that law, right? So that the AI art cannot the, be completely be you know um, be profitable and stuff like that and all that stuff. So, um, but not that you definitely don't want to make money off of AI art because again, you're stealing assets from um other artists on the internet yep. because that's, that's how it works that's how the programmers did it with ai so um so that is uh going through garbage fire for at the moment for stable diffusion that is but again um ai based stuff is st still not going away of course and you know we have we've we just had ubisoft talk about like ghostwriter remember that remember we were talking about that the uh, AI writing thing, so yeah, that's uh, of itself fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, is the gist of it for Frontline. There, was, there wasn't much, luckily, on that side of things. Uh, but yeah, now we can talk about games. Let's talk about games, shall we? Um, Final Fantasy sixteen had its just had its state of play. So, uh, what did you th what did you think of the state of play overall for Final Fantasy sixteen? Where, where, where was my other games? <laughs> where was my combat? <laughs> yeah. I liked it. Mm -hmm. it. It showed us a little bit more of the combat. Yeah, just, just a little yeah. more, right? <laughs> showed a fucking hell of a ton of um, kaiju battles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that at first, you know, when you saw the kaiju battles for... um. 16, oh, it's only going to be like Infrared versus Garuda and, you know, like story moments. But some of these battles look like it was just like either sporadic or at like side missions. And they are grand. They're big. They're not like just one small ass arena. They're like, mm -hmm, I'm going to mm -hmm. climb up this guy's freaking arm and do flippies and dippies and slideies and whiteies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I said whiteies, not yeah. the other word. Yeah, sir. Yeah, <laughs> tidies. No, <laughs> no. Um, so, I, I, I mean, there wasn't anything like, like, brand brand new. You know, it's mostly stuff that we already know, but we briefly seen you know the kaiju stuff, right? Or the, um, acons. I think they're called in this one. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the summons, as universally said in Final Fantasy. Uh, within the Final Fantasy circle, um, are like yeah, fully skilled like you know like, um, action scene or action portions as well. That you know that you can take control if we like you can, you take control of the main character right, uh, Clive, and uh, uh, he's got quite of um, cinematic moves and uh, there's like cinematic moments 
throughout. Uh, very reminiscent of like, you know, Metal Gear Rising. And then there's shooting sections uh, as the Phoenix, uh, kind of like um, Panzer Dragoon stuff. And of course, um, they talk more about the rings, which essentially act like easy mode components, like the uh, one button attacking and then the dodging, healing and all that stuff. Um, very simplified if you want to take that route or don't, you know, that it's kind of your choice. And then, uh, I mentioned this to Zawa early on, but, um, uh, there was some sort of interview with Yoshi P in a translator, of course, that, um, they purposefully have icons on the top left side of the screen above the health bar so that people in the chat don't have to ask, oh, what's your loadout, right? What's in, what's in your loadout? So you don't have to like go through the thing. Um, there's icons literally right there. So to see if they're um, using any of the rings or not, right? You can't also hide it either, either when you're recording stuff, right? Yeah. You know, so um, it'll definitely give away what you're using in your, in your videos, right? So that's another, I guess, another way to look at it. If you want to, you know, take that challenging route. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of those, oh, no, look at me. I have, I have no rings, you know, that type of, uh, videos. Uh, so yeah, uh, Asmin Gold was like reacting to it. I watched through, through, through him. Uh, so I thought that was pretty funny. You know, it's kind of like a, like streamer mode, I guess you could say, or, or, you know, the game was developed with streamers in mind in some way. So that's actually kind of, kind of like a cool takeaway from that, uh, bit. Uh, but other than that. No, nothing really revelating or anything like that. Nothing brand new or anything like that. No, like, brand new character that's been hidden till now, you know, type of thing, you know. Uh, just more of what we know already. There's a, there's a job board, there's a skill tree stuff, and all that fun stuff. And more combat uh, sections as well. And that's pretty much it, you know. And uh, yes, you can play as a... Uh, you know, the the summons or at least with Ifri and Phoenix anyway and Ifri fights like a motherfucker right so you know you can take control and stuff like that you know very very emphasis uh very much emphasis on the action this time around um as it is a action RPG so uh very reminiscent of uh Devil May Cry cuz um guess what the battle director of Devil May Cry 5 it was working on the the game, along with um, Yoshi P and other other people. So yeah, uh, definitely is coming along nicely, I would say, and uh, I look forward to it still. I'm still excited myself. I think the video is of itself was fine. Um, it was a good presentation. So no other news. They made it clear like it's just 20 minutes of uh, Final Fantasy 16. That's it. Don't know why people were complaining about the whole like, oh, what about more combat? Oh, what about uh, this, this, and that? You know. So yeah, um, other than that, good, good, uh, good presentation. That's all I gotta say. So, yeah, uh, for sixteen, good stuff. So coming out in June. So yeah, no, no delays or anything, anything like that. Unlike, uh, unlike, um, this game that's coming up, uh, Suicide Squad, you know, we were talking about it, um, for quite a bit. And then now with this, uh, can't come in into light. Uh, Zawa, could you, could you read what the, the statement they put out on their Twitter? We fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a translation. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> We have made the made the tough but necessary decision to take the time needed to work on getting the game to be the best quality experience for our players. Thank you to our amazing community for the continued support, patience, and understanding. There is much more to share in the months ahead, and we look forward to seeing you in Metropolis next year. Which is right across the bay from Gotham, some fucking howl. Thank you, Zack Snyder. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, when is the game coming out now? What's the new date, Zawa? We are now launching this game in February 2nd, 2024. 
please do not breathe this in too much because we might delay it even further. <laughs> <laughs> We're Thank sorry. You. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of get that vibe for some reason, right? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so they uh, pushed the date to February now instead of um, May. So February of next year will be the new date for uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Uh, did they, I, what to expect? I mean, I don't, I don't think they're going to take out the th third person shooting thing. I think what they'll do is just adjust the uh, battle pass and stuff like that. What already exists and just adjust it. I mean, if they can redo the combat, uh, yeah, but that's going to take a longer time. You know? Well, again, it, it, it's going to be so funny of what they're trying to, you know, play it off. Like, yeah, we, we heard you. We're going to fix it. Mm -hmm. Game rolls around, nothing changed. Yeah. Was it a tough decision? <laughs> That's what I'm what I know really. Was it really a tough tough de decision? But yeah. Um It's disappointing to see of what the main game is overall, which is just third person shooting, you know. Instead of variety of combat, you know. That you kind of expect from uh, Rock City, who made a you know they got the the Arkham Knight games right, the Arkham Arkham stuff. Yeah. Nope, it's all about shooting. That's my main issue with it, honestly. Can you imagine if they had this mentality um, back then when they were making the Arkham games? <laughs> Batman has a gun now. Right? A third person shooting Why? Batman? A third person shooting <laughs> Batman? That'd be so weird. It's like, oh, so this is Thomas Wayne. No, this is Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I'd be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think, I think also uh, the best thing they'll do is the uh, always online being offline now. So... That's probably the best they'll they'll do for us, but yeah. Again, my my main issue is just the whole combat itself is boring. You're just shooting fucking big purple spots. <laughs> I know you you're shooting those those stupid areas. Mm -hmm. Bullet sponges. There you go. Yep, bullet sponging, and then the loot. Right, it's a loot 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 shooter, right? So, like, bro, just make it like a good story experience. You know, with action and all that stuff. That's like, all I want. Do what it's like. Just do what you did with the Arkham game. Yeah. Have 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 you know the 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 level up system, and just upgrade what you know the weapons that each you know each uh character has. Mm -hmm. Le level up. I, I don't know how you know it. King Shark's mouth. Oh, the teeth and like, well, I mean, they just like attacks, right? So, yeah, moves, level of the moves, unlock moves and level them up, you know. Should have been pretty straightforward with this uh, kind of stuff, but no, nah, they wanted to make it uh, live servicey as much as possible. I'm sure they're they were trying to make it into some sort of live service. Now, is it the dev's fault? I'm not gonna judge on that or whatever, but um, what I can say is I don't want to be only shooting. <laughs> so, yeah. That's uh, the gist of that one. Anything else you want to say for Suicide Squad? That's the other... Um... Uh, soundboard. We forgot to put. Skip. Oh no, <laughs> I don't. I, I I don't think we need that. Honestly, fine. I'll be my soundboard. Skip. 
kind of pointless though because we already talked about it. <laughs> Skip. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be completely honest with that. But anyway, um, okay, so we're good on that. Uh, for Suicide Squad, um, this one. Oh yeah, so this is uh, I believe the Zelda one. I think. Oh no, yeah. So this is the artwork for for Ganon, because of course. He came out with the trailer. I'm gonna just keep keep running in the background, but yeah. Um, while Final Fantasy 16 had its thing in the morning, Zelda uh, released another trailer. Uh, I guess on the fi this is supposed to, supposed to be like the final trailer before the game uh, has you know the month to come out, right? So we're we're still like a month away. So I guess I guess you could say this is the final trailer. So. Uh, I thought this one was really cool. I like the trailer itself. It was, um, very epic and exciting. Hopefully, uh, if only they actually released this, you know, during the marketing phase of, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It, I think the impressions would have been a lot better. But, I, I, you know, it's there. I guess, so, it, you know, um, it is a little, I do feel a little better about getting this game, but, um, hopefully the dungeons and stuff like that aren't locked behind like a season pass and we're only getting like some, some shrines and whatever, you know, at this point, but you know, Hey, it looks like the story is going to be exciting in a way because Ganon's in it, you know, human Ganon, the, uh, not the dumb monster looking thing from, uh, breath of the wild that you could beat potentially <laughs> right off the bat, <laughs> you know? So, looks neat. Uh, it's got some new stuff in there. It's got some Twilight sort of references in there too. Some touches of Twilight with the music. So I'm not sure how, uh, how much of an actual tie-in uh, Twilight Princess has with this one. So we'll have to see if there is any at all. I mean, but uh, so yep. That is uh, pretty much it. Pink, I'm captured again, bitch. Yep. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they did confirm that you know the new champ, the the new generation champions are still around. So it is you know a considerable time skip. So you know the princess from the Gerudo, the what was it? Yeah, the Gerudo tribe. You know has grown up quite a bit. Um, makes me wish that Sidon is still still fucking huge. Yeah, Sidon is still huge. Yeah, for sure. I kind of wish that um, Zelda and Link looked older. Then you know what I mean. Unless uh, Gerudo, they... unless the Gerudo grow fast for some reason, you know. I was gonna be a smart ass and go like, well, they're elves. So, <laughs> are they confirmed elves? Eh. In D and D perspective, we'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I mean perhaps maybe um they time travel. I don't know. They could time travel to the future. I don't know. Right. But In the year two thousand. <laughs> Damn man. <laughs> but uh, uh um elves, I guess I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I guess they have really slow aging. I mean um. Well, don't elves reach their prime and then they just slow down on the aging or whatever? Or something like that? Yeah. I think that's no, how I it works. I, I don't play elves in d and I okay. play humans, orcs, dragonborns. Of course. And that's it. Okay. Um, I think that's how... It, well, at least that's, I think that's how it worked in uh, Lord of the Rings anyway. But... Not sure if that's universal across the board. <laughs> but anyway. Mm -hmm. Um Ganon's in it. Um uh, for first and for uh, first and foremost. There's some new interesting looking characters in there. Uh but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um very very exciting trailer for sure, at least for me anyway. In comparison to um all the other marketing stuff that they've been doing. 
again, I hope they, or I wish that they did this in the first place, but they didn't. Whatever, I'm still getting the game and give it a college try. I'll review it, you know, give it, give it that fair review and um, we'll go from there. So I personally look forward to it uh, for Tears of the Kingdom. But I do have cautions, uh, cautious sort of feelings for it. You know what I mean? Um, but we'll see. We'll see about uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Will it, will it sell a lot? Of course it will. But how the reviews will be, that's the that's uh, kind of a mystery there. All right. So now we can uh, go to some of the old older stuff. That was previously on the game side of things. Uh, Dolphin, right? Um, are you familiar with Dolphin? The emulator? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now it's I think I have it on, on my old rig. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, uh, well, it um, it's on Steam, uh, uh, I believe. Yeah, so... Um, Okay, still coming. It says it's this quarter two of 2023. So I'm not sure if it's out at this point or it's coming still. So yeah, um, it look like it looks like. Let me see. Let me just click on here. Okay, so it's still coming out. So quarter two 2023 is still the date for it. 40 Dolphin emulator on Steam. For those who don't know what that is, uh, it basically is an emulating software where it allows you to basically uh, download um, after following some steps, of course. It's not that easy, but not that hard either. Mm -hmm. To um, download GameCube games in particular. Uh, so you can also even play like some of the old Japanese stuff that didn't come here to the States. So that's another way to sort of access to that. So... Uh, for those who are like really into the like the niche games, you can definitely um, access it here on the GameCube. Uh, if you want to access to the really niche GameCube stuff, Dolphin Emulator is the way to go. So, especially a lot of the Japanese stuff um, that did not make it over to the GameCube, uh, the US GameCube side of things. And now it's uh, coming to Steam, so maybe the process of downloading stuff will be a lot easier. I'm not sure. But uh, that's um, actually kind of big. Because Dolphins has it's like been always sort of like very third party ish or very niche. Because again, you're doing it, you're using it for a very niche reason. But now it's coming to a more, you know, uh, widespread platform, you know, hey, maybe more and more people will uh, know about it and stuff like that. So that's cool. And also, I think it also means that you could use it for sure on uh, your Steam Deck. So you can play all the classic stuff on your Steam Deck for sure. Uh, GameCube stuff, you know. So that's uh, of itself going to be neat. If that if that doesn't happen. If it hasn't been happening already. I, uh, maybe you could, but you have to like me do more do many more steps or something i don't know i don't have the same deck so i i don't know how that works okay same. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah all right uh another bit of old news uh have you been looking at the stuff for last of us the pc version no no Ex uh, enlighten me my son so there's been like very, very rapid issues about the PC version for Last of Us. Um, I don't know if this is the tweet that has like all the uh, glitches or whatever. It looks like it's not. But oh, you can kind of see some of them like so these faces uh, do what happened in uh, the PC version. So because... um. The game has a hard time like reading like what's um the background, what's foreground, or what's the subject. So that's why Joel right here looks all like weird and fucked up, because that's supposed to be like the low res Joel, and then that's supposed to be low res uh, Ellie, you know. Um, let me see. Yeah, Last of Us has been. Really, um, 
suffering these issues, right, on day one and stuff like that. I don't think it even has been fixed at this point the, to this day. So that's a quite a long time if that is the case. Especially for those who look forward to the PC version of Last of Us, you know, and uh, uh, <laughs> um, Naughty Dog was like, uh, we'll delay the, we're going to delay the game because, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, the HBO series has been doing really well, so we want to give it we give it the time, you know, to get the spotlight, and then we'll release this PC version and stuff like that, and meet expectations, blah blah. blah. You know, you know that kind of jargon. And then guess what? It sucks. You know, PC issues up the wazoo. Uh, let me try to bring up Naughty Dog. See if the there you go. Yeah, uh, the latest stuff it says we're just we're continuing continuing to investigate the issues reported about uh, the Last of Us for PC. Um, but it looks like the the patching has been happening, I guess. But there's still there's still work to be done. Hmm. And yeah, um, there was like a there's like um some gaslighting going on from Naughty Dog like oh you know blah 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 like um some of you were expecting something or blah 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 or something like that I'm like what what <laughs> why, why why some like I thought what <laughs> did you say um you know you're gonna meet everyone's expectations or whatever something some stuff like that it's like some weird um. Oh, maybe they deleted the tweet. I'm trying to find it, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him, I guess, but... It went poof. Yeah. It was quite the garbage fire, let me tell you. Okay, so it should be coming here. Who? Wait. Oh, oh wait. Who? Who released a statement? Was it Naughty Dog or is it La is uh? Is there like a Last of Us? Twitter. Oh, okay. Maybe that. That's the HBO one though. That's weird. No, that's the HBO one. Never mind. Um. Hmm, weird. Maybe they did delete it because there's a lot of like um, negative feedback. So I guess they, <laughs> they don't want to take partake in that anymore. Damn, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah. So there's there's a lot of back and forth going on with that. So. Uh. So the I unfortunately I did. I guess there's not much of a discussion because I don't have the original tweet because they deleted it. <laughs> so I guess that much of itself is a conversation <laughs> yep. of how much bad, uh, how how bad it was. Um, I could I could show you some of the glitches. Let me see. Here's uh, how I saw it. Hold on. Uh, Dreamcast guy, and then. Uh... There we go. Of all time is yeah. the original Last of Us because I mean, let's face it, was. But I thought that what's most funny is people are getting the weirdest errors possible. <laughs> oh God, it's Joel, but for some reason, he's got on blackface. So the major issue <laughs> that seems to be happening the most is yeah, there's the blackface one. <laughs> the game is trying to load something and it just can't find it in the files. So I was over here on the Last of Us Reddit, and people keep posting these ridiculous examples where it is like, this is his daughter Sarah, 
and clearly she's supposed to have nice normal hair and it's this gooey mess of spaghetti i mean really joel kind of looks like this too people are actually pointing out the fact and that then there's that the picture major error it seems like is happening is that the game if it has trouble running it keeps going to lower and lower quality assets i guess it's trying to think that maybe joel is a super far off background character what in the world has happened but that's not the worst i have seen some stuff that truly you guys need to see this to believe this all right here's so this, this one this is apparently an error that can pop up oh god let me make sure the volume's a good volume okay so you are not ready for this i want you to try and get yourself ready for this but trust me you're not ready for this so apparently in this scene what tried to happen and developers have had to explain this um, apparently it thinks that they are underwater. So at the start here, everything's nice and normal. Oh, did I? Oh, I muted. We're not smuggling shit. Until They're nice and normal, having a nice talk, everything's normal. And look, they just turn Follow wet. <laughs> you can verify the look at this. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. He just gets soaked. You'll follow me. Ellie is freaking just it, it just swaps out their wet clothes. Her hands are dripping. But she's not crossing to that part of town. Look at Joel that over her. Whoa, whoa, I don't well, think shit, that's the best Ellie. Way. She's actually You never sweat it in such high high intense you know conversations. Mm -hmm. Said if I was ever in a jam. <laughs> Look, she's she's also dripping with sweat. Or is dripping with water. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tess is wet too. Year, right, what? everybody. Jess Cargo. Look how much they're dripping. What they're gushing. Jess Cargo, Joel. Are we no here? more time. It looks like a mixture of them sweating super, super, super hard and also crying their eyes out. I. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh my god, that's the fun. Yeah. So, point being, glitches like that have been happening. Uh, there's a lot more. There's like way more too. Um. It just doesn't run well, like textures terrible, like you know, visual glitches out the wazoo, like you know, you name it. So Naughty Dog has been patch trying to patch out the game um ever since. But that uh, looks like it's been on uh, an ongoing issue. So that uh makes me glad that that I did uh, partake in the PC version. Felt like I already got enough from uh, the PlayStation 3 version. <laughs> man, that's crazy. That's, it's how, that's how long it's been, man. But yeah, yeah anyway. There, so that's kind of like the gist of for uh, The Last of Us PC version. Uh, but what's been popping off really well was uh, um, Resident Evil 4. Uh, in two days, it sold over 3 million copies. So that itself is uh, uh crazy, you know, getting all the praise, you know, blah blah. blah. But then, um, unfortunately, I don't have the I don't have the page up here, but um, Capcom just released like microtransactions for um like leveling up your stuff. So yeah, that's uh kind of unfortunate. I think it's for I think it was it's for uh, mercenaries, like the new mode or whatever. But yeah. They uh, they kind of hit the microtransaction button, <laughs> unfortunately, for uh, Resident Evil. But uh, yeah, I mean, from from what I've been hearing, uh, people have been m very positive about the game for the most part. I think the one of the big negatives I've been hearing was Ada's voice, the new new voice for Ada Wong. Uh, did you hear about that? I have and but to be honest, I never like watched yet uh -huh. any of that anyone's um gameplay of it, not even Max's because I don't know. Just I'm just putting that on the back burner for something for me to watch, you know, like later down the line. Okay, okay. Uh I did take a look at it for Ada Wong and the uh the comparison is just like very night and day. It's unfortunate that um the delivery does not live up to um you know the the original 
So which again, there's so many factors that could have gone. With yeah, it could have been the ride. voice director like um yeah. telling her, "Hey, be more neutral for some reason." Like I don't know why, but it happens, right? It could have been that. It could be. It could be the actress herself. I don't know, but uh, people were actually going after her, so that's like not cool, you know. Um, you could criticize, sure, have constructive criticism, but um, you know, to like throw names and like, I think even I think even some people, of course, th were throwing threats at her. Like, oh god, that's uh, take that's definitely taking it too far to put it to put it uh, to say the least. <laughs> you know but um other than that the game has been popping off i think this will definitely be a contender for um game of the year type of stuff you know it's already sold so much already but unfortunately um capcom sort of hit the uh the old microtransaction button like i said so now the negative stuff is starting to come out uh for that regard so mm. yeah uh, I don't think, though, it is for the the main story. So that of itself is, I guess, okay. But when it comes to, like, extra modes, like mercenaries and stuff like that, that's, yeah. I mean, nonetheless, transactions suck. So very, very sneaky of Capcom to do so. All right. Uh, I think we're pretty good on comments, right? So, um, yes, yeah. For four, yes. Mm -hmm. for, for RE4. Remake. Uh, speaking of making money, um, the Super Mario movie has made, at this point, I'm almost say over um, $377 million globally, including um, including that is $173 million uh, at the international side of things. So, yeah, it's been popping off. Um quite uh not bad. Not bad. yeah if you want to compare that to ant-man um uh, quantum media uh that movie made two uh two hundred and twenty five point three million so that's quite a quite um the comparison yeah, quite a jump kids mm -hmm. um and then i think it made the most money in an opening weekend for an animated movie i think but I, I could be wrong on that. There's been there's been some reports on that, but yeah, the Mario movie has been popping off. But uh, I think the biggest criticism I've been seeing is that it's very fast paced, like boom, 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 boom. You know, um, like it does pay homage to like the you know Nintendo stuff, but like the actual story is um, left to be desired because of the pacing. So I yeah, watched it like yeah. I I read that um the reason why some people might feel like that is because um it was the director's decision saying that it's paying homage to speedrunners. Hmm, I feel like that's a stretch yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's from straight from the director's mouth. Is it straight from the director's homage. mouth? Or is that yeah. somebody saying it's straight from the director's uh, mouth? It was from an interview that um mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go look for it. Mm. it might, that might have been, that, that could be just like, I don't know, PR damage control kind of stuff. Like, oh, oh yeah, speedrunners, right? Those exist. <laughs> but I don't know. But people saying that's like an illumination thing. Like, that, that, that that's happened with like um, minions and stuff like that. So I, I don't feel that's the reason, but. Are you still looking for it right now? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we can we can jump to the next one. Right. Okay. Uh. So. Um. Also, I mean. Oh yeah. Also, uh, I heard that Bowser wasn't in the movie as much as people wanted him to. So. Uh. That's. I think there's also that. But again, I mean, I haven't watched the movie myself, so. I'm just pointing out what people have said. So. Mm. But. Yeah, majority. I think the the overall opinion is that yeah, I mean it's a fun Nintendo movie, but it does have storytelling issues, you know. So very. Well, uh, well at this point, what um, 
like movies don't have you know storytelling issues nowadays right but i don't think that's that should be excusing it you know i think that's something yeah. they need to work on right so <clears throat> Uh, but I, I just, but it's more since we're still on the topic of a Super Mario movie, it's the critics that I freaking laugh at. Like some people call them out because you know they go like, "Oh, this movie is not like we're you know not newsworthy," or the reason why we gave this low score is because of this and this and that. And you know, people called out those critics going like, "Were well, you guys expecting an Oscar-worthy freaking?" storytelling of a mario movie what's funny is that i actually read the i read a number of those critics and they were actually like on point with the audience you know uh when they when their initial uh uh reviews came out for rotten tomatoes i remember uh it was like initially 45 percent on the critics side but then yeah 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 and then they were like they were pointing out the exact issues that people were having, like the the audience were having. It was like the sporadic story. Oh, but it looked nice, you know. Uh, you know. Oh, the Nintendo stuff was nice, or the Mario stuff was nice, but mm -hmm. it was sporadic. It like you just, you know, you didn't have the time to take in said, um, you know, Mario stuff. So I felt like this was a a pretty uncommon case of the critics being more on point with the audience for this a movie like this you know but again like everyone has a different viewing um experience well what's the one yeah experience of course on movies mm -hmm. i'm going in i'm gonna watch it tomorrow finally. okay I'm not going to go in there and go like, okay, this is going to be on the same part as Avatar 2, right? Well, even Avatar 2 has issues, but from what I've been hearing. Oh, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't fucking say that out loud. You know, <laughs> people that, that will defend that movie will come knocking on your door. Well, I mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, there's a like, bring it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just saying what other people have been saying. So yeah. Right. So anyway, uh, but I just want to keep you safe. I don't want people to go knock you on your I, door. I don't care. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, no, I mean, I, I appreciate the concern, but for the <laughs> most part, I don't care about their opinion because it's not. I mean, it's an opinion. But anyway. But again, like I'm just gonna go watch it, mm -hmm. find all the Easter eggs. Probably gonna be have to be tied down once I see Bowser on screen from my friends going like, "Fuck it." Behave. He's like, nope. Mm. See Bowser. Mm. Yeah. I see my dad on screen. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I think for the most part, it's just illumination. I think that's illumination's way of telling stories. Like they just like to be like, it's like, all right, we said this, let's, let's go. You know, like, like the kind of thing. Um, yeah. They're more on the visual side of things, of course. So, um, even people, uh, there, there's some people that said that, like, it's very illumination. It's, uh, all oh, this is how illumination tells their stories or whatever. So, yep. yeah. So I don't think, uh, that the whole speedrunning thing even applies to Mario. I think that's just an illumination thing, right? Because if that happened in Minions or any other illumination movie, then you know what i mean like that's not a mario issue that's that's a that's a illumination issue so yeah uh that's on that part uh this one if, uh i think we can move on right so um we have more comments uh i believe this is for the resident evil stuff so there is a resident evil animated movie coming out I think it's coming out on Netflix, right? Uh, this is Death Island. Death Island will feature um, this indie. Uh, De uh, Death Island will feature all of the heroes. So like, uh, we have uh, Jill. We have Chris. Jill. The, the, the and then the Jill is from uh, the remake. And by the way, this is from Kadokawa. So you know uh, that's the same 
company that makes um the gamma stuff or at least has the rights to gamma or gamina so and there's rebecca no one uh don't want to play the sound because uh uh the copyright claim stuff but you can see there's chris there's jill and then on the off to the side there's claire right so you got all like the main protagonists um of course you got zombies and then there's Re more of rebecca I, uh, I swear i i want to see like oh yeah there's leon right there yeah i want to see the joke because since every mostly everyone is here i want chris to look at leon leon i need you to to go out with my sister so you can make the Redfield bloodline strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, old, that old tired meme. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's Chris and Claire, of course. Oh, look at that. Rebecca looks like it's back in the action because apparently, I think Rebecca became a scientist at some point. So she wasn't, uh, has not been on combat for some time. I don't know who <laughs> this guy is. I think he's new. Oh, oh, that's just um, wish the wish version of um, Wesker. Maybe I don't know. He kind of looks like Kevin Bacon a little bit, <laughs> like a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know because um, Kevin Bacon is a. Have you watched some um, Guardians uh, special? Yes, the Christmas special. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He well, he is um canon to the MCU, so I, maybe. yeah, apparently, right? So, <laughs> MCU Kevin Bacon is definitely a thing. Yeah, so you can get, you can see the the main protagonist right here. Even Rebecca's included now. <laughs> I like that she's like wearing loud, like a pretty pretty bright green, so that way she like stands out from the rest, right? Because she because Claire already has the red the red. Uh, jacket yeah, on her red vest. Yeah, yeah, and then Leon is kind of. I like how Jill's face in this in this freeze frame looks like uh, she's just tired of this shit. I know, right? right? <laughs> yeah, because she's like, she's I just yeah. <laughs> she's like, I just want to have a normal fucking day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now look at that now. Whips out the whips out the pistol. Okay, which one of you guys um? Have infinite ammo. Which one is like has the highest upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> right. Who has the most accessories on, on their pistol? Right, like the laser and everything. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's funny that this is on Alcatraz too. This movie. Oh, is it actually Alcatraz or is it an Alcatraz? Yeah, they they say it. Oh, they, they say it's say Alcatraz. It, but, okay. Um, this island they're on is on Alcatraz, and I was like, that's kind of hitting on the nose mm -hmm. of how you know Alcatraz is supposed to be nigh escapable and stuff mm -hmm. and and fucking Chris just nonchalant brings out a fucking rocket, rocket launcher, launcher yep look hi yep and Jill's like <laughs> <laughs> like fuck yeah it's it's like imagine that in that part, it's supposed to be like a sneaking mission. Right. All right, guys, here I go. It's like, seriously, <laughs> we're trying to sneak into the bad guy's place, not freaking knock down his door. Uh, do you like this version of Jill? By the way, remake, remake, remake Jill? Jill. Yeah. Just now remake, <laughs> remake five, then, then we'll talk. Right. Because uh, she becomes like a blonde or whatever, right? In that one. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's why. Yeah. Remake Jill. Then we'll talk, kids. Yeah, and that, yeah. Remake that Jill. Or remake Wesker, too. Right? <laughs> RE, RE5 I like how, remake. I like how everyone is flippity and dippity, and there's Rebecca just like... She just hits the floor. Yeah, man, you got the. She's like, I, I, she's like, she got the tactical slide. Like, look, look at it. Look, look. She's being tactical. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like I, I can't do the flipping. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me play this in actual motion. Hold up. 
Yes, he's like damn, look at, look at, look at, damn, look at, uh, oh, damn, look at, look at Claire. Whoop. <laughs> I got the John Woo Whoop. thing going on, and then Leon just jumps. <laughs> well, he, he wall kicks off. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, he Jill kicks and, off a rail. Jill and, and Chris just, you yep. know, they, do, do, that's a high jump. Yeah. And then <laughs> Rebecca being tactical. <laughs> this is the tactical slide. Now see. I like I like that the little like showing like <laughs> who can be extra. Mm -hmm. Oh look at All right. yeah, look, look at Chris. Look at uh, working. Oh yeah. The... Working the big big ass machine gun. If I was in that vehicle, like as a survivor, and you know, if this is all like canon with the game and stuff, I'll be like looking at Chris. Wow, it feels like you know your old team with with Pierce, right? Oh, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> like, when just, does like... this take place though? Because this is supposed to be canon. Usually, the, like these animated films are supposed to be canon. It's probably after like the events of um. RE6 and a mm. little bit before. Eight. Oh, seven or yeah, seven and eight. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I don't yeah, know. Just, but yeah, um, from there, like that picture or that um, poster, it, that's Alcatraz. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. So they're actually taking place in the actual place. <laughs> so. Uh, not saying that um when when this movie comes out uh, a lot of people are going to start visiting Alcatraz <laughs> I'm here for the zombies it's like the what okay so it, it, it yeah it does say Alcatraz okay okay all right cool neat oh look there's um Nina Williams oh yeah Nina Williams <laughs> yep yep that's totally her all right Yep. She made it, everybody. Who who is she though, really? Uh, for reals. Hmm. Maybe two brand new characters, uh, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe that's not Nina. That's Anna. <laughs> Anna pff, no. Pose, posing as Nina. Posing as Nina. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Big brain. Yeah. Uh. Well, that means Lynn Hart is uh <laughs> voicing that character, right? So. <laughs> All right, next up, we do have this. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this is one of the weird ones, right? Did you hear about this? There's a there's a Rick and Morty anime coming. But why, though? I know, right? Not only that, HBO Max has changed their name to just Max. On top of that. I do <laughs> That's like that. I, that honestly is is the weirder one of the two. Like, why? Like, don't you wanna? Don't you want your name to be recognizable? <laughs> if you're saying just Max, it's like what? What? <laughs> like Cinemax? Like, you know what I mean? So I guess like, but why though? Mm -hmm. But yes, nonetheless, though uh, Rick and Morty, the anime is uh, that. It's also weird. Uh, so let me bring up this one. Just another shot of the design. Yeah, Rick and Morty, the anime. Doesn't look too far different, but you can, yeah, I mean, you can obviously see like the, uh, the differences, right? Like, like, uh, the shapes and stuff like that. But the overall sort of like, I guess, f look is still intact, I guess, more or less. But Zawa said, "Why? <laughs> very, uh, very strange." It looks too clean. Too clean. The art style. It looks well. Let, let's clean. let's bring up the actual Rick and Morty. It's just a.
I mean, if anything, this is this looks more clean because it's like they're um. Well, I meant clean because it's compared this one, how this looks compared to the anime. The anime one looks just too clean, flat. This you can actually see like, you know, like their eyes and stuff. Hmm. I'm not sure uh, if I. If you follow. Yeah. If I follow, right? Because there's. In a way, I mean, well, let me let me see this shot right here. Oh, okay, so this one also has no shading either. That's uh, interesting. Hmm. Trying to like really see like, hmm. I mean, obviously there is differences, but I can't say which one's better or whatever. Like, hmm. I'm not sure if this is a something to be made into an anime. <laughs> like, just I, I like maybe for like a segment, right? Like a maybe like a joke or something, right? But like an entire series as an anime, that's weird. That is def definitely still weird. Either way. I mean, I guess we'll have to see how it moves. Is, uh, like, the motion and everything. Like, is it, uh, that's kind of also a, a factor to play into. Uh, Morty right here definitely has something, like, Japanese-ish. Like, the, um, the way they do the little like lip right here you see like the little like thing right there <laughs> yeah that's very japanese the way um uh rick is smiling that's yeah you see that little tip right there of the, of the lip that's like that's also pretty japanese ish so there's that so i feel like uh we need to see emotion before you know um we make full ju judgment but like just based off the look I don't know. I can't really like lay a finger on it, like of which one. Quote, judge them now. Of which one is better, quote unquote. Like I'm not sure. Because again, like is this? Like uh, I don't think this is this this is anime material. You know, just one of those weird things. It's like I can't really like lay a finger on it. But yeah, that is it. It's coming on Max, not HBO Max. Max. <laughs> um, for those who are curious about what's going on with the pricing and stuff like that for max here it is so um the adelaide version is going to be ten dollars a month or a hundred dollars a year uh then that will feature 10 1080p resolution 5.1 surround sound and you can have two concurrent streams at the same time, right? The first ad-free version is going to be 16 bucks a month. So right around Netflix pricing. Or if you want to pay the year, it's going to be 150 bucks. That also has 1080p uh, resolution with... Uh, although this does come with uh, 30 offline downloads. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Uh, the ultimate version, you'll pay 20 bucks a month or $200 a year. And that will come with uh, four concurrent streams. You can So that means you can have, I guess, four browsers um, or four devices streaming at the same time. Up to 4K UHD resolution, 100 offline downloads. That should be unlimited at that point. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Um, and then Nodomi Tamos... Uh, or Atmos, excuse me. Um, uh, sound quality. So, um, yeah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> yep. That's a lot of money, man. $200 a year for HBO Max? <sighs> Jeez. How much is... I'm sorry, how much, how much is Disney? Uh, 80 bucks, right? So that's quite the jump. 
you know and disney still has 4k stuff for some programs yeah but you have access to it like you know like the but the but it's for uh, 4k for the ones that you know are really popular or that do matter like you know all the marvel stuff um you know mandalorian or you know star wars stuff uh so on and so forth so i think that's uh better pricing there in comparison to this so yeah <laughs> but the max name thing is uh, kind of dumb uh i do i did want to um bring up ign again because there actually was a pretty funny skit about it hold on let me see uh let me put let me find a real oops let me go back I go ign uh where was it where was it shouldn't be too far hmm oh yeah maybe you should media there you go then let me see Hopefully I can find it. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Um yeah, don't worry about it. Uh what was it? Was it before uh Zelda stuff? Let me see. God, IGN puts out so much. Oh there you go. This is the one. Funny that HBO Max so let me just play this again. I think it's so funny that HBO Max changed their name to Max because nobody wanted that. Today at work, I kept making the joke that Disney Plus is now just called Plus. But then I started thinking about the other streaming services. Flix makes sense because Flix, you know, movies, internet, Flix, Mount, Plus. No, that doesn't make sense. But neither does Max. Video would actually be a very cool name because it gets the point across very well. And then I think it's so <laughs> funny that... You see the very last one? Whoa. Whoa. What's happening? Can I not replay the video? What's going on? Come on, Twitter. You're letting me down. There we go. There does Max. Video would actually be a very cool name because it gets the point across very well. And then. Yeah, and then the yeah, Peacock right there. Yep. <laughs> and nope. I would love to subscribe <laughs> to a <laughs> cock. Yeah. Change their name to Max because yep, exactly. Today at work, I kept making. It would actually be a very cool name because it gets the point across very well. And then. <laughs> yep. And then, very very brief on the peacock thing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So, I I thought that was cute. You know, little little, clever little jab at uh, HBO Max for getting rid of the HBO and calling it Max only. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. Uh, was there anything else? Let me see. Wait, oh yeah, that's the same shit. That's the picture we just saw. Okay, so uh, very last thing on this one for today is um, something about McDonald's and anime. I thought this was really funny, so let's just uh, give it a watch. <laughs> Look at the artwork already. <laughs>。<laughs>。So, so what you're saying is that the true One Piece is that McDonald's? McDonald's. Is that McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's over. It's over, guys. It's over. <laughs> it, it's real. Mm -hmm. McDonald's is real. real. <laughs> I like the staff. <laughs> I like the the the. <laughs> I like the uh, 
the drawing or the whatever the artwork for the you staff. You know that the art studio was having fun with this. Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, look, they pretty much recreated the. Mm, and then Luffy's over here this time. Who's who's? I just like how Brooke. Oh yeah, Brooke, Brooke is just, like, just looking back. Got a fucking bang his. I know. Bend his head. Like I'm too tall for this shit. Mm -hmm. I wonder who's the one jumping. Who 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 is that? I can't I can't really see. Well, let me uh full screen this so you can try to decipher who that is. Yeah, I, I don't know who that who who is that? Huh? Okay. It would have been funny if it was Buggy. Maybe just up as Ronald McDonald. Yeah, it would be so fucking hilarious. Or fucking like, uh, grimace or something. <laughs> just because, even though uh, Ronald makes w way too much sense. Uh, th this is just no, no, great. It'll be um, <laughs> it'll be um, hamburger. Hamburger, yeah. I wonder because there's there's that bump. Is that supposed to be the hat? I'm not sure. Sh yeah, that maybe that's supposed to be the hat. I'm I've been wondering what that like bump on a is. side view, right? Yeah, like a, I'm the, like, yeah. Why why the hell? What the hell is that bump? Yeah, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. It looks like it's something on top of the bun. Like you see, like the little like you see the lines right here. It looks like it's something on top of the bun. I'm not sure what that is. It's Laboon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, it's Laboon. La yeah, because this one is not as much. It's not as prominent. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just a bun. I don't know. Maybe it could be just a bun having those weird bumps. Like I don't, you know, like the bumps on the pizza or something. I don't know. It could be. I don't but know. they wouldn't like if it was an imperfection. You know, they wouldn't. Like, I, I don't know. There. I don't know what is up with that bump. Yeah, even yeah, because even the the cartoon version or whatever, they like put the bump right there. So I don't know. Maybe it does mean something. But yeah, One Piece uh, and McDonald's, right? I, I'm kind of disappointed that the whole crew doesn't have their own like. I know they have their own uh, sandwiches. Yes, uh, yeah, it's kind of fucked up, man. It's also more fucked up that the thing is very tiny. So, you know, it should be a fucking huge one for Luffy. I know, for Luffy, yeah. Yeah. It's, that's not, that's not going to fill up Luffy. Like, like that that size is for Chopper. Yeah. That's a good size for Chopper. It's like, here you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you take that. And then there's a poster for uh, the One Piece shit. And this is chicken, I mean. Yeah, this chicken, is chicken right? for the most part, yeah. So the, uh, the one on the left is just like chicken... Just a regular chicken sandwich. The other, oh, the so one on the like, right, yeah, McChicken. Yeah. Yeah. The one on the right is, uh, it has like grated daikon or something, and then user sauce on the bottom. It looks like, um, uh, or that could, or it could be grated daikon covered in user sauce, and then this sauce is separate, mm -hmm. right? Um, and of course there, there's that weird bump on it for both of them. <laughs> I don't know what that is still. So. But when it comes to the artwork. Why, why, why is Zoro holding the map? That, that, no, that he, he, he. Uh, okay. One, I can, I would be impressed. Yeah, Zoro is holding the map. It would have been more accurate. The thing was upside, upside down. Upside down, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> and then looks like Sanji's holding like uh like a weird version of a user or something. I don't know. It could it's spoiled. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm... Maybe that's the one piece. I don't know. The, the yuzu fruit is the one piece, apparently. I don't know. Um, I just like Ro uh, Robin just smiling. Uh, smiling away. I, I don't know. She's like, I, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I could be tending the garden. Right, or, right. Or, you know... um, Reading books or something. Yeah, like... Reading books or deciphering um, mm -hmm. this... The ancient language of something. Good. No, but I'm just smiling away. And then we have Odi Roger right there in the back, like holding. It's like, bro, aren't you fucking dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. How are you eating this? <laughs> Explain. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe it's like WWE or something. Like maybe he's just only dead in the storyline, but he's actually alive <laughs> in the in another in the real life anime one piece if that makes sense <laughs> oh i'm sorry <laughs> but uh... well, speaking of um like 
them eating right here. <laughs> My friend who finally caught up a bit. They were like, would it be fucked up? Like San Sanji's cooking for the crew, right? Yeah. And today's meal is fish. They fit fish to <laughs> Junbei. I was like, Oh, okay. but but he's a shark. But, <laughs> like, but he's a shark though, so Yeah. It's, but still I was like, Yeah. It's like, okay. Where are you getting with this? <laughs> now, if it was shark, then it's like, mm. <laughs> shark fin. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That, that like... <laughs> that's, like, that's actually <laughs> more fucked up. <laughs> We're just grabbing Sanji said, We're going to have a talk. Yeah, I know. You know, you know shark fin is like one of the most like pointless things, I think, though. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think it is pointless because it's like, it, I don't think it's. There's ha hardly any meat. No, and then it's, it's hardly any like uh, distinct flavor to it, too. Like it's yeah. just salt and like pepper. I I I had shark before, but you know I ate like the gut, you know like oh yeah from the head the head to the fin. Mm -hmm. That's where I ate, and then like the sh and the fin the shark fin was for and this was when my uncle was still around it was like put alongside he would dry it out and then put it alongside with um the shark's uh teeth. Mm. Or jaw, because mm -hmm. he 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 was a trophy hunter, but he didn't like do it a lot of times. It was just if it was at the moment, he would do it. No, oh, okay. If it was like a good size shark, yeah, he would trophy. He would make a trophy out of it. Uh huh. You would if the shark was still adolescent, you throw it out. Yeah, throw, know, it, throw it. Yeah, yeah. Throw it back into the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it anyway. So. Except for that one time when he threw I forget what fish so he threw the fish back into the water but before it hit the water uh, I I guess a bird just swooped in grabbed it out of the air and just flew away and I was like oh, oh well that's that's just <laughs> that's just life man <laughs> I know, I was like, that's just like, nature taking its course <laughs> I was like wow circle of life is real yep. I'm sorry Mufasa for darling you mm -hmm. yep so, uh, One Piece and McDonald's uh, are having a collab. I wonder if they have this at every McDonald's. You know, this po um, without the two burgers in front of it, it's just a poster. Oh, you know, like, oh. Like, a, like a like a giveaway. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hmm. it it looks nice. Like you take away the logo, or you make the logo. You leave the logo and just have like everything there except for the uh, buns. Uh huh. Uh huh. The food. It looks like a good wall, you know, a wall poster to just yeah play, you know. Yeah. Also, it also looks like a movie poster, like the next One Piece movie. I know, I know, right? I think Sponsored that's supposed to be the point, or or future featuring um McDonald's. Yeah, featuring McDonald's. Yeah, it, McDonald's is like uh like the new side character but like they're very uh the, they're the heroes yeah there you go and then the hamburger is like the main villain or something <laughs> uh that'd be that'd be great but yep one piece in uh mcdonald's is a thing right now i guess <laughs> but yeah that, that i thought it was fucking hilarious with the uh <laughs> they executed him with laced burger <laughs> they poisoned the burger that's how they killed the uh, gold roger <laughs> Uh, let me see if there's anything more from McDonald's. Man, man Japanese McDonald's just looks just looks good. Oh, there's the Sanji version. Look at that. There's a uh, Chef Zef and Sanji right there. That's a very okay. peculiar pose what, with Zoro. What's, what's that character? What was it from? Uh. Was it Danny Phantom or fucking Early Our Parents? The guy with the big long hat. Oh, uh, that's Fairy Odd Parents. Yeah, was well, it the Dimidome or something? Yeah. Yeah, Dimidome. She says that, but are you cosplaying as him right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's all. That no, that's that's always has. Uh, that's always his style. I know. Yeah. I know it's always his style, but now when you look at it, yeah, like, when you look at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. the moon. Mm -hmm. Does it reach to the moon? Maybe. Right, he's reaching 
Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> definitely reaching for the moon on that one. Oh, this one has the uh, the fried or like the bake um, rice bun thing. So different bun, different. Uh, it's a different edition. Look at all of this. Look at all these nice food mm -hmm. that you know the West will never have. I know, right? Oh, so and Robin are together again. Hmm. <laughs> what what no. is that saying? Hmm. All the uh... no, not 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 in my head canon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fuck that, sir. It's Sanji and Zoro. My only thing with this poster is that Sanji's arm looks a little little funky. Like they like they, he's like he's like shorter. Yeah, like his shoulders up like this, like forced. Look like it's forced. And then his arm looks a little shorter. Also, Sanji's a little broad, right? So he he's a little like broad, he, yeah. Yeah, he. It looks like they just squared him. Yeah, yeah, they like, yeah, they like shrunk him down for the poster or something. All right, so, no, the, all right, Sanji, we need you. We need you to uh, lose weight for this poster. <laughs> So he's like Christian Bale because Christian Bale is always like buff and he's like skinny again and he's like buff again for this role or so something. Like, it's like, um, you know, they had the original, you know, Sanji at his um correct perspective mm -hmm. and whoever is like, wait, with the eraser, hold on. A little bit. There we go. Yeah. It's like, we just got to trim some stuff off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Zoro, Zoro is like a, in a very peculiar pose. I, I mean, is it, does he? Oh, no, actually, he, no, he, he does that, actually. Um, what am I saying? Because uh, he uh, does the like the uh, boot, like a Buddhist prayer thing whenever uh, someone dies to pay respects. Somebody call the ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh yeah, there's a video Sanji for the Sanji Bum. edition. Well, finally, everyone actually has their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to make a make a make griddle. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, and, oh, but they Luffy ate it. <laughs> Luffy ate his. Yeah. <laughs> That's Luffy though. <laughs> I know. It's like. <laughs> so it's like yes, everything's right in the world mm -hmm. now. Yep. Is Whoa, that bacon potato, potato pie? pie? Whoa, that kind of sounds good for some reason. Even though saying the name sounds weird, like I don't know, I can kind of imagine myself I, eating it and, and kind of enjoying it. Well, well, fuck the um the West version of McDonald's, right? Yeah, it's such a simple thing. It's bacon and potato. Like, how how is that not on the menu for the American side of things? I don't think McDonald's has had anything new on the Western side. Like, what the fuck? It's so dumb. Yeah, that's why I said fuck, fuck on the Western side of McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the, I guess that was the teaser for uh, the One Piece collab. Just that logo. Oh, God damn. Look at all those burgers, man. The Oh man, the one on top looks really good. Oh man, look at that! Look how fat the bacon looks, like or wide the bacon looks. That's definitely Japanese bacon. That's how they cut their bacon. It's wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, double quarter this is pound. Making me <laughs> this is making me depressed. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, there's another teaser right there from early on. Go, Roger. Oh, some, what does some the cookies. D Look at these cookies, man. What does the D stand for? These nits? Yeah. Look at these cookies, man. This is, a, this is not a McDonald's, man. Shit. Like, even saying, like, our, our McDonald's is sad. <laughs> more beef, or more bacon potato pies. Oh, hash brown, that's a classic. Yo, what is this? 
Oh, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a strawberry pie. Okay, okay. Strawberry pie. Strawberry pie. Man, they're really trying to sell this uh, bacon potato pie. Not you like me. Oh my god. The quarter pounder, double I'm quarter hit, pounder. I'm gonna hit the skip button. You're making me hungry. <laughs> I didn't eat anything yet. <laughs> I will keep you. Yep. I know. I'm like browsing through McDonald's. I can't help it, dude. <laughs> Japanese McDonald's, I mean. All right, let's let's get out of this rabbit hole. <laughs> get the hell out of this rabbit hole, let's man. Get, let's get out of here. Yep. All right, I think that's no. uh, all we got mm. for the docket. So uh, was there anything else that uh, you wanted to throw in? If there's anything else or uh, are you are you good as well? I guess the last thing we can do to wrap this up is a video game shit. Uh, news for those who still plays this game. It's okay. You don't have to say it. Uh, the new season for Overwatch 2 has started. Oh. With their new healer, uh, Life Weaver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a... Peculiar. Have fun trying to figure out how to play him. Uh, don't you just have to like charge up his heal and then throw it at somebody? Ah... Uh... Is it like white, is it like a good area at least, or is it like like you can only throw it to one person? You over there. Oh man. You over there. Yeah. All right. Is it a good range, or you have to be like kind of <gasps> close? It's, it's it's a fairly good range, but okay. It 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 kind of like it's. It's like, um, how can I um, do it? say it? You know, like how Mercy, you know, Mercy, you know, you have to like kind of like look at the person and mm -hmm. then you have that um, target on them to, you know, heal. It's kind of like that. So if there's like a fucking big group of people there and you try to get that one guy that's in the front that's about to die, it's like. <laughs> oh, so there's no like AOE <laughs> thing going on with the thing. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, the AOE heal is from his alt mm. that brings out a tree. I see. Which can act act like a shield, but a lot of people were like testing it on life server. The life, the HP on that tree is so low. Oh. That one. Not not one good Roadhog ult kills it, mm. and Roadhog will still have like a few like I think it's a channel like a timer like a few a few more seconds left on his ult to, you know, just like push to, back the team and like all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But the tree um has a AOE heal. You know, it's gonna continue until it dies or gets off the field. It also acts like a barrier. Mm hmm. But the barrier is so low, it's like, what's the point? Is that's the I mean, it, the tree is tall, it's just that the life on that tree is like, wow, this tree looks nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. And apparently, um, from I need to rewatch that video again. Someone put the tree on, you know, on the payload and it was moving. Oh, so you can it, actually. It, it didn't like they. They put it here, and then you know, once it starts moving, it just right, 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 right. It's like, it's like yeah, it actually goes okay, <laughs> okay. So the circle can move along with it, yeah, yep, okay. And then um, one of his skills is actually it's meant to be a lifesaver, but a lot of people are doing it as trolling. Mm. He has a skill to pull, oh, pull back. Towards. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but the videos I've seen is like, wow, this area, this. <laughs> You know, like they're, um, let me say the, they aren't Ilios and you know, that, um, well, that's mm. right there in the middle. Uh -huh. I'll save you. Oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah. 
So, so it, it's like an on and off, like, wow, this is such a good skill. Why you kill me? I feel like you could do that with like all those like dumb tanks that like go up ahead way too much or something, and then you just pull them back. Like, oh, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, hey, get back here, you know, type of thing. We yeah, need to be a team. Um, <laughs> yeah. Stop <laughs> rushing like in the, a five like beast. It's, it's like those. It's like the child leash, you know. <laughs> it's like those leashes. Those things are so like so mean spirited, but funny to watch. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Except for like some of those parents, they kind of like don't know or don't watch their own like strength. Uh -huh, the kids uh -huh. just running, then all of a sudden they just they yank them. them. <laughs> and then you just see a child in the air, yeah. just flying. He's like, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah." He's like, "Is the kid all right?" <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, was there anything else new for the season? Like new any any like new patching or anything like that, or um, just standard um buffs and debuffs. Mm -hmm. Um. The battle pass looks like the skins in there looks kind of fun. Their their theme this time is um, pretty much Star Wars. I'm not gonna beat around. The oh, bushes. like yeah, like so, Star like Wars. a gal like galactic whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I believe that's all I got. Uh, like I said, so. I don't think anything else is popping into my mind. Although, uh, next week it is uh, Advance Wars boot Reboot Camp. So, that's something for me to look forward to. And then plus, uh, I think three days after that is uh, the new Honkai Star Rail. So, that's like a new uh, big thing for also for me to look forward to as well. Within the same Star time. Star Rail. Is that the one? Uh, with the, I guess they were... Um, the groups, right? Are they groups or family or factions or? No. I'm not sure of, of how I'm that. Think, I'm trying to think. Of, uh, thing. I'm thinking of the one, the uh, there are the one with the with the bear and the wolf. Oh, that one's uh, a Zenless like a butler. That one is a Zenless Zone shooter or whatever. That's the that's the other game. Star Rail is a different. So that one's not. Uh, so that one's not coming out yet. No, uh, Star Rail okay. is different. Yeah, that's a turn. The, the this one that's coming up is a, a turn based uh, RPG, your RPG or, or or just RPG. Yeah, because yeah, Honkai. Um. So yeah, uh, that's something for me to look forward to because I do want to try it out. See it. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'll stick with it, but I'll give it a try and stuff like that. Because, um, yeah, you know, because it's supposed to be, like, kind of like Honkai a little bit, but um, turn-based, whatever. Because it has Honkai characters in there, I believe, if I'm correct or whatever. But, um, no, no, this looks cool, so I'll, I'll try it out. It is from Hoyoverse, so, you know. Looks nice. Um, and it is turn-based, so I, I'm a fan of those sort of uh, games and stuff like that, so. Yeah. Uh, anything else to look forward to? Mm, not for me. So yeah, that's those. Those are the two that I am actually for, looking forward to. One, luckily, is free to play. So you know, the Honkai Star Wars is free to play. And of course, Re Reboot Camp is what fifty bucks. So you know, it's whatever. I'll buy it. I'll give it a try. You know, and yeah. Uh, anything that you're looking forward to for April? For for the rest of this half, uh, the, uh, for the second half of April, or not so much. Not so much. Okay. Not yet, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. All I right. Guess, I mean, more Mandalorian. Yeah, one more, one more Mandalorian episode, and then yeah, that wraps it up for season three. Yeah, and then I, I guess the next one for Disney Plus really is uh, what Secret Wars or whatever. Yep. Right, and then yeah, Star Wars. Uh, I'm not. Oh yeah, and, uh, Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah, Ahsoka's uh, been Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But that is uh, pretty much it. Definitely before we uh, keep lingering on with 
random stuff. <laughs> uh, that is all we got. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode, as always. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back for more, hopefully. And uh, we'll carry on, as always. So, uh, thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. And that's how we're going to end this show. <laughs>